Unfortunately, a wrestler could not hang up or hold his own against this football player because he's wearing goddamn battle armor. And that's when I started thinking, is, is that street legal? Like, can you do a street fight in battle armor? But then, you'll see, the next character I choose, all the rules just fly right the fuck out the window. But first, I have to lose again first. And I said first twice, so that makes it second. And now I've just created a paradox for you to think about. So yeah, this guy just rapes me. He has two Hadokens, and then I, I later realized everyone has two Hadokens that has Hadokens at all. You've got like, there's the two buttons A and B that do things. Each one of them throws a separate Hadoken. One's a low Hadoken, one's a high. So yeah, I get completely butt raped there by this battle armor ninja, or football player. So I think to myself, who could possibly beat a football player? And then long dramatic pause. I say, M. Bison can beat a football player, even if he is, in fact, very skinny now. It's like a skinny nerd M. Bison. But that's this is when the game gets ridiculous. Right here. Are you ready for the ridiculousness? Because this isn't M. Bison. It's goddamn Bionic Commando. Is a fucking robot M. Bison really street legal? I mean... Would you go into a street fight with this motherfucker? And this isn't even the crazy shit. You think electric electric shit is crazy? Look at a Sudoken. It's a fucking torpedo. Look at that shit. So this guy, this guy cheaps it up for a while. But this isn't even the cheap shit. Hadoken battles? No, that's not this game. This game is grab battles. All you need is a grab move, and you win. But... Up until, up until I realized that on the pirate, I think. Maybe it wasn't the pirate, maybe it was just after. Uh, this guy rapes right up to the pirate, I think. So we get into a Hadoken battle here, but my Hadoken's clearly superior to his shitty fireball football thing. I have trouble doing it though because of my broken joystick. So I. But I, I do it better than I probably would have with my D pad. I should have been using keyboard to be honest. It's all about timing, and I don't know what the hell that's supposed to do. It hits me once later on, but that's it. And M. Bison, M. Bison Commando's fucking... He's, he's Germany, right there. That guy, Germany. And his level? Freaking ridiculous. It's like, really? This isn't Germany anymore. Was this made in the 1940s? So I'm enjoying the uh, moonwalking uh, homeless people right now, next to the random barrels that just absolutely litter the landscape in America every single game you play in America. I mean, even Half-Life. Barrels fucking everywhere. What are in those barrels? And every single show you see where those, like, homeless people just gathered around a fire, it's always in one of those barrels. Where do those barrels come from? I've never seen one of those barrels in person. I assume they're oil drums, but why are they everywhere? What Lost Brave Fighters? Which ones? There's a lot of those. All of them? Why are you fighting for a specific country if it's all- Oh, we're at the pirate. So I guess that guy didn't rape very long after all. I think I lose to this guy seven or eight times, so that's, that's like half of the playthrough right here. Enjoy this pirate, because he's going to be around a while. So here we are, Bionic Commando fighting against motherfucking pirate because that is the best thing ever. And it goes out, it goes pretty well at first, but then things just turn south once he starts launching his ship at me. You see? Did you see it? Ship and sharks. 
That is his Zidokin. That's a shark. That's a shark. And that's when I realized, holy shit, they can block it and turn it back at you. Because if you block just before it hits you, it'll it'll re it'll re it'll reflect back into their face. So I, I did really well, and then I just everything turns against me here. But you, you can't tease me like this, man. I, I barely won that one, just by having slightly more life. And now everything is a lose for a while. Everything in the world. Why are pirates always, uh, like, with skeletons? I mean, I understand that everybody would, like, kind of make them the same thing after Pirates of the Caribbean made them skeletons, because they were all dead. But before that, it was still happening. Why all the skeletons, pirates? Why the skeletons? That blocking shit is why Hadoken battles are not very good. At least not as a spam strategy, because you have to be ready to block it back at them. You can play Pong. I tried it later. So I, I don't really have much to say for, like, the, the next 50 battles. I'll just kind of pop in and talk about characters. So I, I suppose I will let you enjoy this wonderful fight without me talking for a while. So, I lose with M. Bison, and I'm like, okay, we need a ninja, and I didn't I didn't actually read that middle part there about the ninja, so I was looking for the, the most ninja-looking person, and I was kind of like guessing what they did, and I was like, this guy looks kind of ninja-like, because spirit warrior, you know, but then I saw Viking, and I was like, holy shit, we gotta be the Viking. So... I went with a viking, and it turns out he's not really that viking, he's more like a fat guy pretending to be a viking, and here you go, you'll see in a second. And here we are, fat guy pretending to be viking. Not really anything viking about this guy. His sudoken is a short range freeze you, and a wave as you can see. The wave, kind of useful. Freezing, not so much because you have to be so close. So I dance around as a fat guy for a while with no pants on. And it, it went really well here at first. And I thought it was going to be one of those I lose and then the next character win things, but no. This pirate was a bitch. Total fucking whore. And I really don't have anything to blame but my own lack of skill, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. That's what this guy's, like, this pirate's walk animation. It's like hopping on both feet at once. 